Yeah, let's talk about your producer here you worked right. with. Yeah, I was, you know, real fortunate to uh, get to cut this record with Bruce Robinson, um, who, you know, is obviously a legendary songwriter, singer-songwriter in his own right. Um, and, uh, you know, I was, uh, I was touring, opening a couple of shows for Charlie Crockett up in Colorado a year or two back. And, uh, and I've done Charlie for a long time and, you know, love and respect that guy to, uh, to no end. But, uh, he, uh, you know, Bruce is his manager. So, um, you know, I was coming back from Nashville a couple of years ago after making my last record. And I, you know, it was honestly, I kind of had this dream in the back of my mind. Like I would love to make my next record with Bruce Robson. I just don't know. You know, I have no idea how I'm going to be able to pull that off, but that would be, yeah. that would be nice. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and totally. then it just so happened. I was up there in Colorado and, and, you know, just the way it went down, like, I, you know, I didn't say anything to anybody about it. It was just Charlie just introduced me to Bruce and there, you know, it just all clicked. And, uh, so, wow. and then, and the, you know, after we played the shows and stuff and, and, and Charlie and I were kind of going back and forth about, you know, our plans for the future, what he, you know, things he had, he was working on and talking, talking to him about what I'm working on. He's been a, you know, a, a great you know just resource for you know just strategy and and uh you know he's a, he's he's a brilliant dude so but he was like yeah man you know if i was you i'd think about cutting my next record with bruce if I, you know wow so uh, so uh so yeah so how does that conversation go about i mean is it like hey you got a couple months free you well, know, let's I mean, do this. Uh, here's fifty thousand dollars in a briefcase. Yeah, know, like, <laughs> that's probably the way it used to work. I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. You know, uh, it was. I mean, it went like this. I I uh, I had a couple ideas for for who I wanted to work with and how I wanted to do my next album, and then Charlie texted me and said, "Man, you know." I think you should think about working with Bruce. I was like, yeah, man, you know, that, that would be probably a great thing for me. So then Charlie sends Bruce my last record. A week or two later, uh, they set up a phone call. Bruce calls me. Like, hey, man, listen to some of your stuff. You know, you have, you know, good songs, like your voice. What do you want to do? Send me some songs. So then I send Bruce some songs. And, uh, you know, gives me a couple, you know, a couple of tunes in particular he picked out of the pile that I sent him. And then, uh, you know, a couple of weeks after that, I went out and had my first kind of sit down and talk with him and, you know, took my guitar and sat and, you know, uh, played him just a bunch of, bunch of different songs and, you know, just got kind of uh, better acquainted. And then we, a couple of weeks after that, got together for our first recording session, started out just me and my guitar, Cut one song first day, kind of got a feel for the studio, a feel for, you know, the process out, you know, they, uh, they record the analog tape and it's, you know, it's like a, a time machine. It's like going back in time, working out there, which is super cool. Super That's awesome. Vibe, yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, and then we stuck it from there. I mean, you know, he's, he's got a, a lot of stuff on his plate all the time. He's, you know, he's working with the who's who of, of uh you know americana and texas country and, and sure. you know, songwriting you know uh royalty really all the people he has out there all the time so you know me still being in a place where i'm really trying to make a name for myself and and uh you know relative to a lot of the artists that he works with um still you know an up-and-comer he uh he just you know he was cool enough to make time where he could and and uh you know make it realistic for me to be able to, to, uh, to, you know, pull the whole thing off. And, uh, yeah. So that's kind of how it went like that. Was he uh, just like any idea he had, you were like, yep, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> right. It's like, sounds great, bros. Let's do this. I mean, uh, you, know, uh, for, you know, to an extent, I mean, there, I still, um, you know, for instance, like he had some ideas about the guys he wanted to use, and I had, you know, I had my own ideas about as far as like, I, I really wanted to use some of the guys that are in my own band on the oh, album. Yeah. So, so he was, but he was cool enough to be like, you know, like he would tell me what he thought. And then I would tell him what I thought. And then, 
and then we kind of, you know, um, I mean, he, yeah, he wasn't like so tyrannical that he wasn't open, open minded to, to my ideas about stuff too. But of course. I, cer- I certainly more often than not heeded his, uh, his expertise and his advice on most things. Yeah. I mean, that's why you go with them, right? It's the whole point oh, of working with them. I mean, right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah.